to get this powerful armor, first thing you want to do is head to Yamio Shrine. Once you land in Yamio Shrine, you want to head to this blossom tree here and pick up the Endura carrots. Now these carrots will give you extra stamina if you don't have a extra stamina wheel. Take these carrots back to a cooking station. <laughs> and now you have a whole meal that'll extend your stamina wheel. Head to the launch tower at Lookout Landing. And then what you want to do is glide and dive towards the castle. Now there's two ways to get here. You can do what I just showed you, or you can walk here. You want to land at this point and head through these doors. And then you want to use your ultra hand ability to move these doors. Then you want to hang a left up these steps. Then hang another left. Left inside this doorway, go down these steps to the right. Um, right below, there will be an enemy below you. Don't worry about him. Glide down here. And then you want to use your ascend ability to get to the next level. Up. Next, you want to build a bridge to cross over to this chest on the other side. In this chest, you will find a Royal Guard uniform. And right behind the chest, you will see a Traveler's Bow. Next, travel back to Lookout Landing and get launched again. This time at a peak of your height, you want to hit the glide to glide over to the top of this tower. Using a series of gliding and diving, you want to head over to the top of this tower here. Once your stamina is almost depleted, you want to eat that Endura meal that you cooked earlier. This will give you a full bar plus a little extra. Now to the left side of this tower, you will try to get the best landing. And as you see, you will get a dust bow. This bow comes with a power of 30 damage. Next, what you want to do is hop off and glide towards the front of this tower. Inside the tower will be two chests. One has a Royal Guard spear and the other should have a Sapphire. To the opposite of the ladder, jump out the window, glide straight down and below you will see another bow. This will be a Royal bow. Now climb up inside that window. There should be another chest here. This chest contains a gold rupee worth 300. Opposite of the chest, you want to hop out this window here and glide to the entrance of the building. Head up these sets of stairs. You want to light up these two razors here. The statue will slide to the side, and inside you will see a chest that has a champion's leather. Hop out, head up these sets of stairs, 
and you would grab a royal guard shield and a royal guard sword. Turn around, hop back up here to your right. Jump down, head up the other set of stairs. Grab these arrows, jump over the statue, and grab a bow. Next, you want to hop back down to the middle and head out this door. There will be enemies up to your left, but you can ignore them. Jump off this cliff here and land inside this broken building here. You'll be in Princess Zelda's room now. Grab a royal cap. And right in front of the fireplace are some more arrows. Above the fireplace is a bow. This door here has a royal guard's claymore. Head back to Zelda's room. At the spot here, you want to hit the ascend ability. Hop over this wall, hit the ascend ability again. Now what you want to do is glide off of this cliff right here. Land right in front of this entrance. Now there will be enemies here, so try to avoid them as much as you can. Now you're going to head towards this shrine up top. Make sure you hit the shrine so you get the travel mark. Hop back down two levels. Head inside this entrance. Now you will be going towards the library. First, grab this sword here. Now we're in the library. Hop down, turn around. Use our ultra hand ability to move this bookshelf to the out of the way. Open up this chest and make sure you check behind the chest for another reward. Before you head out this door, to your left is another sword. Easy to miss. Head back out. To the right is another bookshelf you can move out the way. Head up the steps. There's two rewards in this room here. You can use that with your weapons to create something powerful. Head back outside, head up to this rubble here. You grab a shield. Now, if you like all the braziers in this library, you'll get a chest that gives you some money. Or rupees, rather. Travel back to the shrine. The previous shrine. And what you want to do is, to the left of these trees, glide and dive to this spot around here. Make sure you land around this spot here. Now jump off and glide towards this rock right in front of you. Rest here a little bit to get your stamina back up. Now what you want to do is hop off here and where this flag is that you want to climb. Climb to the top as so. Light this brazier here. This will net you the Helion Shield. 